Automatic updates are known for interrupting at all the wrong times. They take forever when you want to get things done, and they can cause new problems out of the blue, literally. But they might also be your best defense against malware and hackers. I'm Henry from TechLore. We're trying to spread privacy and security to the masses. Let's break down why you should use automatic updates after a quick message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Cake Wallet, an open source cryptocurrency wallet and exchange for iOS and Android to keep your crypto assets safe. Not only does Cake Wallet keep cryptocurrencies incredibly easy to use, but also with tons of great features that make it a beyond polished experience. We also wanted to specifically cover Monero.com by Cake Wallet, which is a Monero only wallet for people looking for absolute safety of their Monero funds. Be sure to tune in later to learn more about them. The WannaCry ransomware attack swept through the world, causing immense damage, even going as far to impact a hospital's operations. What made this even more devastating was Microsoft had already patched the vulnerability being exploited by WannaCry a month before it was released into the wild. In fact, over 98% of WannaCry victims were running Windows 7, which no longer received security updates. In 2016, security blog Dark Reading published a post on the 10 worst vulnerabilities of the last 10 years. That list included Heartbleed, patched through software updates, the DNS cache poisoning flaw, patched through software updates, Shellshock, patched through software updates, Android Stage Fright, patched through software updates, SSL 3.0 Poodle was mitigated but not completely patched and was eventually fixed with the update to TLS, which is in many ways an SSL 4.0. A Microsoft server buffer overflow vulnerability patched through software updates. The Java serialization bug, mitigated but not completely patched through software updates. Glibic, get it driven. The Glibic stack-based buffer overflow, patched through software updates. And finally, bad USBs, which are not software and sadly cannot be patched via software updates. Now there's a pattern here. With one exception, every major security issue was patched via software updates. And if you listen to Surveillance Report, our weekly news podcast covering these exploits, you'll find the same pattern in almost all of them to this day. This means those who choose to ignore patches are at a higher risk for malicious activity on their machines. This is because the older software is, the longer hackers have to analyze it, break down its code, and find flaws, all with more exploits to work with. Automatic updates promise to make this issue better because the world is busy enough as it is, and if it can be automated, the world can be a slightly more secure place. That's at least the selling point of automatic updates, but let's cover the drawbacks before we dive into whether or not you should be using them. First, the elephant in the room. They can be annoying, super annoying, especially from Microsoft, but macOS pushes buttons too. This is generally almost done on purpose to discourage users from running outdated software. Second, there are risks that come with running the latest and greatest. There have been updates that have caused some nasty issues, but nowhere near as large as the number of exploits and security problems fixed by updates. Recovering from an update issue is also likely much easier than recovering from something like a ransomware attack. Third, updates can cause incompatibility on your device. This is definitely more of a concern for businesses, which we will talk about. Fourth, there is a risk involving you needing to trust the person behind an update. This is a common point touted by the open source and especially the GNU community. While this is valid, even the example cited of valid problems dwarfs the number and severity of security issues that could have been prevented if people just utilized automatic updates. WannaCry alone is a single exploit out of millions that I would argue is large enough of an event to trump some of the rare examples where automatic updates were used maliciously. But that's just me. So while automatic updates aren't perfect, security professionals still believe they're massively important. So let's talk about you and what you can do to stay safe out there. We have three solutions that should apply to 99% or more of you, as well as two very important explanations that you need to hear, so stick around. First, if you're a casual user of the internet with a standard threat model, just go ahead and turn on automatic updates for your operating systems, apps, programs, and everything else. This should be a wide majority of you watching this video. If you're not doing this, you're putting yourself at risk. If you're asking if this is you, it's you. Second, if you're in a business environment and need to ensure the software you're reliant on is stable and tested, we still recommend automatic updates for non-critical software. If you're a film production studio, for example, that means utilizing automatic updates for your browsers, your word processors, things like that, and then maybe reserving manual updates for your production software. 
If you do this, we still recommend manually checking as often as possible since security issues impact the production world as well. Now, third, if you're someone who completely distrusts automatic updates and refuses to turn them on, please, for the love of God, manually check for updates at least once a week. If you're taking at least a month, you're at risk, like objectively. If you're using a device littered with exploits because you refuse to update after four years, you're objectively shooting yourself in the foot and opening yourself up to some massive security issues. Freedom on the internet is hard to accomplish without basic security, so please keep that in mind if you're chasing freedom. Now, like I said, there are two more things I want you to hear that are extremely important. For operating systems, you need to distinguish feature updates versus security updates. Not every update is a security update, and we're starting to see this difference be clearly defined. For the scope of this video, feature updates aren't really a big deal to update manually if given the choice, but you really should hop on automatic security updates to get those patches ASAP. The second point, listen up, is to make backups. The best thing you can do is to keep backups. Did, did you catch that? Keep backups. No amount of automatic updates will accomplish what backups offer you. If an update breaks your system, or if you're infected by ransomware, you will be forever grateful that you kept backups of all of your data. So again, what is it? Keep backups. Monero.com is a great alternative to Cake Wallet for people who are looking for a Monero-only wallet to keep things as private and secure as possible due to just less complexity. Less is more, and for those who just need Monero, Monero.com is exactly what you're looking for. If you also want Bitcoin and Litecoin support though, Cake Wallet itself is another great option to consider as well. Both apps are entirely open source, and we think they're a great tool for people involved in the crypto world or just looking to get started. Check them out down in the description. So there you have it. While automatic updates are not guaranteed to keep you safe, they do a lot of the work for you in ensuring you're running the most secure version of the software you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Automatic updates are a fantastic thing for your security, and you should really think twice before deciding to turn them off. Make sure to check out Surveillance Report down in the description. It's a great podcast where we cover the latest news to keep you safe. Also, join our Patreon and earn a spot in our outros at patreon.com slash techlore and receive some other awesome exclusive perks. See you all next time on Techlore. Thank you for watching. Yeah.